Switching from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone is quite challenging because when you want to switch smartphones, you want all your data to be restored on your new device. And practically, it's not so easy. There are definitely some methods available to transfer your contacts, call logs, messages, photos and files. But you always get stuck when you have to transfer your WhatsApp data. As both the platforms doesn't allow your WhatsApp data backup to be transferred on their respective smartphones. But definitely there is a way out. And you can easily copy paste your WhatsApp data from your iPhone to Android or from Android to iPhone guaranteed by following these simple steps. So let's start the video but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Because both iOS and Android doesn't allow a normal transfer of WhatsApp data, you will need the support of third-party software. And it's not free, it's a paid application, as I've tried a lot of free tutorials myself and they all failed, or I got missing data. So it all depends how important your WhatsApp data is for you, and if you are ready to pay a price for it. Before I start the process of transfer, first and the most important thing is to take a complete backup of your WhatsApp chat. You can see here I have 3 GB of data stored in my WhatsApp, and I would like to transfer everything from my Android to my new iPhone. Once you have taken the backup, go to Play Store and download the application WhatsApper on your Android smartphone. After installing, open the application and choose the transfer method. For this video, I will choose Android to iPhone, but you can do the same with iPhone to Android also. So click on Android to iPhone. Now you will see a prompt asking this application to access your Google Drive backup file. Click on OK. So this is the file where your backup is stored. Click on Use this folder. Click on Allow WhatsApper to access the backup folder. Now enter your country code and the phone number of your WhatsApp and click on Next. Make sure it's the same mobile number which was used for the backup. Click on OK. It will do a SMS verification. Since my SIM card is on my new iPhone, I got the code over there. Type in the code. Once you do that, it will start parsing the backup process. So the backup has been retrieved. Now all the text messages, photos, videos, files, locations, etc. are ready to be restored on my new iPhone. Click on Next. A pop-up will appear to pay yearly fees of $75 AD or $20. As I said earlier, it's a paid application. So I click on Buy Now and I'll buy it doing the payment from my Google account. Payment is done. Now let's proceed to the next step. You need to connect the smartphone by USB-C to lightning cable. Let's connect them. One very important thing is that fully charge your smartphones before doing this process as the iPhone will be using the battery of Android device. And the Android device will keep on decreasing on the battery life, so make sure it's fully charged up. Once you connect the cable, you will see a prompt to trust the smartphone on your iPhone screen. Click on Trust and enter your passcode. Now both the smartphones are connected. Now we are in the final step. You will see a prompt of turning off Find My iPhone. So go to the settings and turn off the Find My iPhone. And now the most important thing, you need to be logged in to your WhatsApp account from your new iPhone before you start the process. Otherwise, this method will not work. So let's do it. So once you are logged in, click on Start Transfer. Again, you will see the same prompt. Click on Confirm. And now your data transfer will start. It will take some time, depends on your backup size. Mine is 3 GB, so probably 15 to 20 minutes. Another important thing is when the transfer is in process, don't use any of the smartphones. Now 80% transfer is complete and you can see the iPhone is restoring the complete data. And once it's 100% done, the iPhone will reboot after restoring complete backup of your WhatsApp from Android device. So finally it's all done. Let's unlock the iPhone and open WhatsApp and see if my complete data is transferred or not. And here it is guys, I have successfully transferred all my data from my Android WhatsApp backup without missing anything. So guys, that's how you can successfully transfer all your WhatsApp data with this application. Definitely it's a paid application, but it does a decent job of restoring everything. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family and do hit the thumbs up. I will really appreciate that. Also, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel to see more tech videos in the future. Please write me in the comments if you face any issues or you have any questions about this process. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.